Assalamu salamu alaykum. Hope all of you are doing great. Welcome to our today's session. Yesterday we finished uh, manipulating data frames. Um, and we covered the topics of uh, sorting and grouping. Definitely there are many other types by which this sorting and grouping can be done. But when it comes to uh, more when it comes to more application oriented then these things will become more and more clear for now the basic grouping and basic sorting stuff is um, covered for you so that you have at least uh, some idea how it can be done today we are going to start our new topic which is EDA or exploratory data analysis till now whatever whatever we were doing was all about calculating finding out some values or everything was circulating around numbers being a data scientist you need to showcase your data as well in order to make your analysis more presentable and more engaging to the audience for that purpose we need to do this eda right <coughs> also it makes uh, make it easy in pictorial view to understand what it is all about what you can extract from your data rather than going into the calculations and tracing the numbers from where you are getting what right so in simple words we will be doing some plotting of graphs right and for that we will be using a new library which is called matplotlib right matplotlib it is an amazing visualization library in python for 2d plots of array it has multi platforms that allows you to do the data visualization and uh, it can create several plots like line scatter bar and histogram these all are 2d plots and uh, we will be covering all of them one by one right so first we will see how to import the library to import the library you need to use this in text import matplotlib dot plot as plot so once this is syntax is written and you execute it this library is imported right now first this is the most common plot most of us very familiar with this line plot what is a line plot in this line plot usually we have two sets of data usually in x and y form and when we plot them so we got a line in between these two points now let us understand how it can be done so first you need to load the import the library then define x and y data sets and then plot which is calling the library dot plot plot means line plot x comma y so it will take x from this and y from this and then plot show will give you the output you need to make sure that if it has one two three four five if x has five values then y also must have five values if this is not matching then this will not work for example if i make it like this now you will see it will give you an error because 
both of these are mess matching but now they are matching so now you can see that you have a value you have a output here which is in the form of line graph now as we taken these values randomly so you can see this line graph is not making any good sense for us because it is increasing decreasing again increasing and uh, it is like something this which is not so clear so let's uh, make this data more um, linear you can say 5 and uh, 6 and here we can say this is 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 so we made this data linear so you can see here very nice plot but in real uh, real world scenario this is not the case all the time you will have whatever the value and you will have the graph based on those values so then you need to modify you need to see what to do with that right now here you have a task you need to use the range function to create a list from 1952 to 101 right why 2101 because we are interested till 2100 right so if we give the range to from 1952 to 1101 that means it will bring all the values till 2100 if we write here 2100 then it will bring one less than that right and then you have a population list given in billions for the same respective years and you need to print the last year which is 2100 and the last population which is 10.85 from it right so this is the first task that you have to do so now you can see here if you want to print year as well so you can print that so here we have years all of them from 1950 to 2100 50 years and uh, this is pop so we can print pop as well so first list for the year second list for the population then print last year and last population so last year is 2100 and last population is 10.85 billion right now both of these lists have 50 elements in 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 it so we can clearly draw a line plot in between them when we draw a line plot in between them you can see here it is gradually increasing from 1960 to 2100 and it is approaching about somewhere 10 or 11 billion somewhere right now we have another example in which we have some savings per month that are mapped against month so we have 12 months and 12 savings simple line plot here again you can see here sometimes it is increasing decreasing more increasing decreasing so these are the real world problems you don't know how it will how it look like now in this example we have downloaded a data of gdp per capita and life expectancy for different countries 
so first let us see what is the data that we are importing and then we will do something else so this is the data that we have imported you know that we have to import we have to use pandas and numpy to import the data so we have index unnamed column then country year population continent life expectancy and gdp so we have one two three four five six sorry one two three four five six seven and you know that index will start from zero so zero one two three four five again my mistake this is the zero index zero one two three four five six seven right seven columns one two three four five six seven yes so this is the index column unnamed then country and so on okay and this is the data right now we will convert this data into numpy array so when we convert this into numpy array so you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so when we convert it into numpy array so the zero index is this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and the last one was um, GDP and before that we have the life expectancy so we created two sub arrays from that for GDP per capita and life expectancy how from this NP underscore data all the rows for all column number 6 all the rows from column number 5 and our task is to print the last element from life expectancy and from GDP so we have this life expectancy and we have GDP in dollars life expectancy is in years you can customize your message right like this now if we try to plot the line graph in between this then it will be something like this which is very messy and you cannot extract anything clearly from it so we need to shift towards another approach and that approach is the scatter plot when you have a time scale along the horizontal axis the line plot is your friend why because time is linear right the scatter plot is a type of plot that shows the data as a collection of points the position of point depend on its two dimensional value where each value is a position on either the horizontal or vertical dimension but in many other cases we are trying to access if there is a correlation between two variables the scatter plot is a better choice to create a scatter plot we will use plot dot scatter x comma y right very similar so first understand this with a simple example in which we have x and y and we are trying to 
plotted so it is not going to connect these two points with a line it will just give you these dots over the x and y axis so that you can see the trend so here i can see okay if x is 10 y is 5 x increasing y increasing x increasing y is increasing so i can see that there is a clear trend in between x and y Both if x is increasing then y is increasing as well now if we plot the scatter plot over gdp with life expectancy you can see here we have these few values you can say that okay they are not making good sense but overall you can see here it is making a good good shape so you can draw your observations from it very clearly right so this is the advantage now this is much kill much better than this one so in this case the better choice is to have the scatter plot for your analysis so that's why we have multiple options so we will keep this till today and we will continue from this point tomorrow till then take care bye bye